We do want to keep it moving with more of these updates. Uh, so many outlets and publications doing incredible reporting uh, on the uh, assassination attempt, the investigation, the perceived security lapses, uh, all of that and more here. Uh, I'm Andrew Kraft. Thanks for being with us. Uh, in the meantime, we do want to get into this new bombshell report right now, just moments ago, coming in from the Wall Street Journal. And I'm going to read from some of the piece. Uh, and this is quite stunning. Let's take some of this video. Uh, this is what we know. According to the Wall Street Journal, they just published this piece that a gunman who tried to kill Donald Trump was able to fly a drone and get aerial footage of the Western Pennsylvania fairgrounds shortly before the former president was set to speak there. Law enforcement officials briefed on the matter said, further underscoring the stunning security lapses ahead of Trump's near assassination. Uh, this is uh, a piece by Sadie Gurman and Aruna Viswanatha. They go on to say in their reporting that Thomas Matthew Crooks flew the drone on a programmed flight path earlier in the day on July the 13th to scour the Butler Farm showgrounds ahead of Trump's ill-fated rally, according to the officials. The predetermined path, the officials added, suggests Crooks flew the drone more than once as he researched and scoped out the event site. You see images of him there. The 20-year-old would-be assassin fired at least six rounds from the roof of the American Glass Research Building, roughly 400 feet away from where Trump spoke, killing one spectator critically injuring two others and leaving Trump with a grazed wound to the ear. A Secret Service sniper team shot back, killing crooks whose motive still almost a week on remains a mystery there as well. So, uh, of course, we've been showing you some of these live pictures outside of the crooks home there in Bethel Park. Uh, police are done searching it, but there is somewhat of a cordon still in that neighborhood. Now, the Wall Street Journal piece goes on to say Multiple investigations are underway into how a gunman was able to climb onto a rooftop with a clear line of sight to Trump and open fire with an AR-15 rifle. Police had become suspicious of Crooks more than an hour earlier when officers saw him milling about the edges of the rally with a rangefinder and a backpack. Now, the use of the drone was just one way in which authorities have said Crooks planned his attack. Crooks, described by friends as very smart yet withdrawn, began researching the site shortly after the Trump campaign announced the rally on July the 3rd. He registered for the event on July the 7th, according to officials, and he visited the farm showgrounds a few days later to scope it out. Now, remember, on July 13th, officials said he returned with a pair of homemade bombs that appeared to be designed to be set off by remote control as they were fitted with a receiver, like the kind used to set off fireworks remotely. Investigators found the rudimentary explosives in Crooks's car parked close to the grounds, along with a ballistic carrier or vest with three 30-round magazines in it, an indication he might have wanted to cause greater carnage. So uh, this bombshell piece coming in in the Wall Street Journal uh, saying that that gunman, Matthew, Thomas Matthew Crooks, was able to fly a drone and get aerial footage of the fairgrounds shortly before Trump started speaking there. So that is uh, quite a significant piece of reporting in the Wall Street Journal. We wanted to bring that to you as well. I was reading from the journal piece as well. Some incredible reporting into this investigation. As we go into the weekend here, we're going to be showing you uh, the rally tomorrow in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Trump and Vance will be on the stage for the first time together. Uh, as a ticket there, and you heard in Kaylee Schuyler's reporting, some people went there to the Van Andel Arena in Grand Rapids just to get a look at the security posture before they attend the rally tomorrow. No doubt there is some hesitation. There is some trepidation about what that security might look like uh, in the wake of what happened in Butler, PA, last Saturday. We'll see you in two minutes.